Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install E4MC for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you wanna do is go to your search bar, and you wanna search up mod Winf, like so. Here just enter, and here you'll find modinf.com, just click on modinf. And then you'll be on the modern homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to Discover Content on the top of the website, and then you have to go down to Mods. Now, all you want to do is go and search Mods, and you want to search up E4MC like so, and here you'll find E4MC right here. And now, all you want to do is click the Mods name. Now, all you want to do is go to the Versions tab here, and then you'll be on this page where you can go to Game Versions. And then you can go ahead and select what Minecraft Java version you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest one. And from there, we will be using Fabric for today's tutorial. So make sure it is for Fabric and it supports your version. And now just click the green download button. And you now have E4MC. But you also need Fabric API, which is a dependency for E4MC. So all you want to do here is go to the mods version name. And from there, you want to go scroll down and here you'll find dependencies here called Fabric API required. So this is required here. And all you want to do is click this. It will bring you to a similar page where you can go to versions. You can go to game versions. And now make sure this matches your E4MC Java install here. So basically, you want to go ahead and select the same mod version. So for me, it is 1.25 here. And now you want to find a release for your version. It will be for Fabric. And now just click the green download button. And from now, you have everything that you need from ModWinf at least. So all you need is Fabric to run Fabric API and E4MC. And the way this works is that you want to go to a new tab, and then you want to go to your search bar, and then you want to go ahead and search up for Fabric Minecraft, like so. Here just enter, and now you'll find FabricMC.net. Just click on Fabric here, and this will bring you to the Fabric homepage where you can go to the blue download button. And then you can go to the blue download for Windows button here. And you now have Fabric as well. So once you have these three files here, you can go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. And then you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. From there, you want to double click the Fabric installer. And this will bring up a window where you have to select your Minecraft version again. So make sure that this Minecraft version also matches E4MC and Fabric API. And if it does, click install. Okay and close. And now all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher. So with the Minecraft launcher, we'll be able to go to our mods folder and add Fabric API and E4MC in it. So basically, all you want to do is make sure you have Fabric Loader here. If you do, you can go to Installation C on the top, then you can go to Fabric Loader and then go to the folder icon. From there, you want to find a mods folder here. You want to double click the mods folder and once you're here, you want to go to Downloads, you want to select and copy the two mods and then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. So here you copy pasted Fabric API and E4MC in .minecraft mods. And basically once you have this all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher again. You want to go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected and click play. And from there all you want to do is wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay. So once you have Minecraft here, all you want to do is go to a single player world and then you want to go to a world that you want to host. So for example, if it's the same version, you can go to a world that you want to go ahead and create a local server, which becomes a public server. And basically to get started with E4MC, what you want to do is simply go ahead and go to escape. And from there you want to go to open to LAN. And now all you want to do is simply go ahead and click start land world and what happens here is that basically here we have our local game hosted this is a default minecraft thing but here we also have a domain here which is the e4mc mod so basically with this domain here that is right here which you can give to your friends for example is how they will join this server so for example i'm going to show you two things here if you go to your web browser, you don't need to do this, but basically, if I do Minecraft server info, and here you find a website like 
for example, mcstatus.io, for example, I will have this in the description. You can just paste this in and do submit. And basically, here you're going to see that we have our username, version, play account, and everything. So this is how you know that the server is reachable to other things. So for example, this website is able to see the server I'm hosting, meaning that the server is now public. So basically, if you want to add this to a server's list, well, you want some friends to join. This also works with mods as well, and they don't need E4MC. So you, they don't need E4MC to go ahead and join you. So that is one cool thing about this. But basically, all you want to do is if you want to go ahead and join on a server, all you want to do is just go ahead and give them the IP. Then you want to go to multiplayer. You want to do add server. Then you want to go to server address here. You want to paste this in and do done. And this will be your server here. Now, of course, it is unknown here because I left the world. If you leave the world, the server will go offline, of course, because no one is hosting the world. But basically, make sure that your friends have this well. They have everything like so. They can give a server name if they want. And now, once you go in your world, they will be able to go ahead and join. Now, one thing of this is that it might be different every time. So you might need to give them the new IP all the time. So if we go ahead and go to open to LAN again, and we do land world you'll see that we have this ip now so before we had gateway now we have safe house right? so it does change around but just give them the latest one and they will be able to join and this also works with mods as well which is really cool so yeah that is how we get e4mc and i guess that's also how we use e4mc for minecraft java so yeah if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye